Meet James Brown. Not really the hardest working man in the design business. I'm pretty much as low as it gets on the design scale. This is Stephanie, James's girlfriend, and she's fed up. Something's got to give. I don't want the basement to look like that anymore. So James is headed to Design U to figure out how to add some style to his basement. Will it be enough to give him a push in the right direction? For Stephanie's sake, we hope so. Ross Nielsen, welcome to Design U, where good times and good designs go hand in hand. Of course, it isn't always fun and games turning your design ideas into reality. James will only have a one-day course in design under his belt before he transforms his basement into a games room in two days on a $3,000 budget. So if his space is going to be worthy of his beloved pool table, he's only got one shot. Let's see if he can sink it. Welcome to our basement games room. Wow, it's crappy. Oh, yeah. Is this a yeah. fair representation of the kind of work that you do? Well, in my defense, the mutters and tapers are coming to finish this while I'm in school. There's not even any furniture in here. Where are you supposed to sit? Well, you love this pool table so much. Why haven't you even bothered to highlight it with anything more than a bare bulb? I mean, it's kind of sad, really. Maybe we should send you to school. You make this a Habs basement? This will be the first brawl in Design U. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> What's that hockey net doing there? Kind of strange. This is Melanie Martin, and she'll be James's design instructor. She really has her work cut out for her as she attempts to transform James into a designer in just one day. Have a seat, James. So, this is your basement. I see you've got a pool table there. My baby. <laughs> I take it it's staying. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. James, we're going to start with your first lesson, which is layout. What kind of activities are you planning on doing in this basement? Uh, well, obviously pool, uh, playing darts. Darts, okay. I was hoping to add a poker table. Okay. Listening to music. Okay. Um, also, I'll have my TV as a background. What about board games? Not really into board games. No. So, this is really an adult-only games room? Definitely. It's the James Brown pool room. Okay. All right. I like that. Now, let's start by placing the largest piece of furniture, which would be the pool table. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, my pool table would go there. You want to keep five feet of clearance all the way around, okay. so you've got that. And my poker table. I'd like to keep my dartboard right around there. Okay. And then I was hoping to have a bar shelf down here with a couple chairs. And then I was hoping to put another one over here so I ha don't have all the people jammed on an end. You want to make sure that the shelf is at least 15 inches deep okay. so that when you're sitting at it, you've got enough room for leg space underneath it. Now, what about your TV? So my TV, I was hoping would go in the corner over here somehow. Okay. Nice and high, hopefully. Overall, I think you've got a really good old layout. One of the things that I would recommend though is most of the action is going to happen in this corner here. I think it might be better to actually take the television and bring it closer to this part of the room, which means that the bar shelf could push down a little bit more towards this end of the room and then you've got lots of room for your, your dartboard. Okay. My only concern is that this might look a little empty in this corner here. So you might even want to consider adding a secondary table for, I mean, I know you said you weren't really into board games, but maybe chess. You I know? like chess. You yes. like chess? Yes. Maybe a small table with two chairs kind of thing. Just yeah. It would help to balance the whole space because this corner here is well utilized. This corner here with the television, you've got this area here with the pool table, and this just seems kind of empty. So yes, that would, that would look quite nice. Now I think we're ready to move on to our next lesson. Excellent. James, this lesson is about style and creating a theme. As you can see here, the pieces of furniture are very traditional. Everything just all coordinates together. So the furniture is dark. The finishes are very similar in terms of the top of the bar and the top of the poker table. And the theme is basically a games room. So when you're creating a theme, you want to make sure that you repeat the furniture styling, 
the colors, the artwork that you have, and your lighting as well. So if you go more uh, modern, then you want to have a more modern kind of light or more traditional, you want to have something that's more traditional. If it's a sports theme, then you want to carry sports throughout, so not just have, you know, soccer and hockey, but incorporate a lot of different um, sports. Or if you just want to make it a hockey theme, then really emphasize on the hockey, so maybe the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> not allowed to have a hockey theme. Oh, you're not, okay. Well, let's move on to our next lesson. Okay. James, we're gonna talk about color and how to coordinate colors. And when you're picking color, what you need is a starting point. So in this particular palette here, my starting point is this fabric. And based on this fabric, I was able to select these other colors of fabrics to coordinate, so to create a whole scheme. So you can see the different shades of blue here are reflected in the leaf pattern. And then we also have this cream color, which is also um, reflected in the background color. Pen color is the last thing that you want to pick when you're selecting your colors. As you can see, there are a million colors to choose from. What I could do is, you know, paint the ceiling and the trim in this cream color, paint the walls in this blue color, and then maybe do an accent wall in the brown tone. What's an accent wall? So an accent wall is a wall that you want to highlight and you paint it a different color. Or you do something different. You could do a faux finish on it, wallpaper, another color. Gotcha. James, this is your last lesson and it's on materials and how to pull it all together. If we look at this room here, what do you think is the starting point? Definitely the couch, because it's got all these different colors. So you start from the couch and then you do your accent wall. Totally. <laughs> well, accent wall. Is there an accent wall down here? No. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Of course there is. It's the ceiling, actually. I didn't know you could accent the ceiling. Sure you can. I mean, we've actually taken the alcoves, you know, so basically wrap the color this way here, and you've got your two colors. So it doesn't have to be just a wall. Like for you in your space, it could be an end wall, or it could be maybe the bulkheads, it could be the ceiling. I like mm -hmm. the idea of the, the bulkheads. That's, a, that's an interesting idea. The sofa is what dictated the style and the materials that were used in this room, from the uh, carpet to the fabrics that were selected to the window treatments. So you can see how all the colors all work together and they're derived from that particular pattern. Now, what kind of style would you say is this room? It's modern. Why do you say it's modern? Because it's brown. Well, no, that, that doesn't make it modern. It's actually transitional. Do you know what transitional means? Traditional and transitioning? No, it's traditional and modern mixed together. Okay. Okay, so if we look at this pool table, for instance, it's got the ball and claw leg detail, which gives it that traditional element to it. But if we look at the lines of the sofa, they're much more uh, straight and linear. And then we've got the simplicity of it, which makes it more modern. And the sectional has the geometric print, and so that gives it a more modern element to it as well. So it all works together. And so that's how you get this transitional look. Okay. Do you have any questions? My starting point is my pool table, I guess, but it's just two colors, so. Well, maybe you should consider bringing in some kind of a fabric or maybe even a piece of art where you've got the blue and the white and then also additional colors that you can pull from as well. So you just don't have a blue and white room. Yeah, I hope I make you proud and, and now I know design school is cool. So. Okay. <laughs> So, did Melanie teach you a lesson or two? Well, actually, I think this is going to be pretty easy. I, I originally thought that I could shoot for the lowest score ever on Design U, and, and now I think it's going to be, I think a, I'm a C student. I think that's where I'm going to be. Uh, D minus is probably out of the question now. That's very red. It's sort of an arresting red. I, I think my heart just skipped a beat. I think my grade might have just skipped a beat. Oh, this room, it just drives me nuts. You know, we want to have a space where we can entertain, and it's unfinished, and the flooring's not done, and one of my biggest pet peeves is the fact that there's nowhere to sit down. Hopefully all of Stephanie's pet peeves about the basement are about to be addressed. 
James has completed his design training and now has two days and $3,000 to finish the unfinished and bring some fun to his basement games room. Playing alongside him will be the Design You Carpentry team, lead carpenter Baron Bryant and his assistants, Will, Blair, and Christina. Well, this is clearly the focal point of James Brown's adult games room. I wonder if he has anything else for us to play with besides a thin layer of drywall dust. This is quite the mess you've got going on in here. I'm not kidding, this is crazy. Uh-huh, what are you planning on doing with it? Basically, I'm gonna start with my focal point, which is my baby. No surprises there. And I'm gonna have my poker table. Um, I have my chest set over here. My dartboard's gonna be right here. Next, I'll we'll have my little bar shelf with two bar stools, which will be matching on the other side of the room. Moving on from there, I'm gonna have a cabinet built uh, to cover up my yucky electrical It's just box. not pretty, yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, and also the, there's flooring to be done. Okay. What kind of flooring are we talking about? I was gonna get floating laminate. And I'm assuming there's gonna be paint. I have uh, chosen this Moonlight Sonata white for the ceiling. And to then, match your... To match my, my baby's wood here. Uh -huh. Yes, and then the walls, I want to go with a similar blue to my pool table. And then I'm gonna add a third color and accent everything with a red, and it's gonna go along the whole bulkhead. And lighting? I'm definitely gonna get a, a pool light to go over my baby. Good, well, let's get going. What do you have for me? Okay, well, the first one would be, I guess, the cabinet that my pool cues are gonna cues, be using. Yeah. Two doors, about 20 inches wide each. I'm gonna have the pool cues here yeah. uh, with the racks and four shelves for accessories in the corner. All right, what's next? So next will be our stereo rack. Okay. It's got four uh, spots here to hold my records and yeah. it's got it on both sides. Uh, this is gonna hold my stereo stand and then this here will open up to give me access to my water shutoff if I need it. Okay. So what is this for? It's the primer for the walls. Hey guys, you here to help us paint? Yeah. So here you go. Oh, that's embarrassing. How's that? Oh, oh, oh. oh, you know what? I can't I can't even watch. Go check your wood or something and make sure it's the right stuff. Go on. Um, oh, Mike, um, you are just an accident waiting to happen. Oh, so this is this is good? This is the color that you wanted? Yep, I think it's gonna go good. So one more side and a shelf. This will be ready to go in. Whoa! Looks like I'm almost done doing my floor, right, guys? How are we ending your flooring under your stair? Just uh, run it to anywhere along the bottom here. All right. And how do you want it finished off? Because usually, you know, stair, you either have a kick plate or or a um, or a transition strip. Well, my room's transitional, so let's use that. All right. What are you sitting here chatting for? We should be painting the bulkhead red. Oh, let's bust out my cool red paint. That's very red. It's sort of an arresting red. I, I think my heart just skipped a beat. I think my gray might have just skipped a beat. Oof. Uh oh, oh, tell me good, when. Good, 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 good. Not a pour. Uh, yeah. Can you? No, just know you're gonna pour it up the other side. You're gonna pour it up the other side. Oh my god, you are calamity I'm around paint. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh no. We, we haven't actually painted the ceiling yet. I, I, don't, I don't know why you're freaking out. Uh, your eyes just playing around. Yeah. Well, for someone who's convinced himself that he's going to get such a poor grade, James has made some pretty bold choices, but he's still floundering on his design, and there are a lot of objects in the room that have yet to materialize. Because it's so out there, like the, the color schemes and stuff like that, I don't think a design person uh, is, is gonna be as keen on it as me. So uh, I, I think maybe a B minus or a high C, you know, something like that. But uh, I'd take that home to my mom compared to what I used to get for grades. Nice even coat. Maybe I should just stick to coloring. 
I just, I can't wait to see, you know, stuff on the walls and a, a real design direction with it. You know, something we're proud to have our friends come down and, and play a game of pool. It's, it's going to be really nice to have people over and be proud of what we have. Top of the morning, redesign day two of James's basement. Did you stay in there late last night and finish painting the bulkhead red? Oh, yeah. You did not. I did. Just thinking of something. I don't really care for this color. Can I change this? Sure. So I could put like a red color on there if I wanted? You could do whatever you want, you're the designer. Tell you what, I'm gonna go check to see what the carpenters are doing. You guys keep up the good work. That looks good, I think we're ready. Hey, superstars, what's going on? Get ready to paint. Cool. Can I uh, give you guys a hand? Everything's gonna be blue, uh, except for my record shelves are gonna be white and okay. my doors are gonna be white, right? Okay, I'm gonna go cut the pole cover while you guys work on this. Don't go too thick. Am I ruining this? No, just a little thick, that's all. The key is not just to spray it, it's to nice even coat. And also, if it's nice and thin like that, it dries quicker too. Maybe I should just stick to coloring. This is awesome. Are you ready for Melanie to see it? Yeah, I think so. I feel good. I feel really good, actually. I, I, uh, I stood back and looked in the room there a couple minutes ago, and I, I big smile. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna go get Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> oh my god, what bright, bold colors. He's got the poker table here. Didn't finish under the stairs. It's kind of odd. He didn't push the theme enough. It's too bad. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I see it's red, white, and blue. But I can live with that. I have to ask you something. What is your theme? Uh, transitional. No, your theme, not uh, style. Um, <laughs> my, my theme is sort of sportish. Well, see, that's the problem, is that there really is no theme here. You know, like, where did you get the colors from? Um, the, the pool table. Okay, so the blue you got from the pool table, and what about the red? The three ball on the pool table. <laughs> Okay, all right. So this has nothing to do with your favorite hockey team then? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay, so I couldn't have my team room, Which is the Montreal Canadiens. Which is the Montreal Canadiens hockey love. club. That's Just right, I couldn't have it. that. And if I would have gone all the way, I would have gotten beaten up on national television by my girlfriend. So I went halfway and threw in a couple things to say for my friends, yeah, I'm still keeping it real. You know what, you should have gone the full way and you should have taken that beating because you're gonna take a beating in your grade. <gasps> Really? Yeah, and I'll explain why. Um, if we look at your lessons, you have mapping and zoning, and that you've got down pat. However, there's also the completion of the room. Underneath the stairs, half of it got finished, but the other side did not get finished. So something needs to be done about that. Um, if we look at your colors, yes, you've got the blue on the wall from the pool table here. But the red just kind of pops out of nowhere. I mean, had you had a nice Montreal Canadian jersey, maybe in a frame or something like that, it would have been clearly stated, like, this is where I got my colors from. Also, just looking at the style of the room, you have this gorgeous pool table. It's quite elegant, actually. You know, the legs have the detail in them, and then you've carried that detail over here with the column, which is fantastic, but you just kind of stopped there. And the other built-ins throughout the room, there's none of those elements that are repeated. 
here you've got a beautiful table that has you know more of a luxurious feel to it but yet the poker table is more on the cheap side i guess so you have a lot of potential to improve this space i think you're just not there yet so are you excited to know what your grade is? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you get a C minus. <gasps> oh, my mom would be so proud. <laughs> I, I'm still undecided as to what I really think. Not everybody can be a designer, and I think that, you know, in this case, he's one of them. When Melanie was going through all the, the different things that were wrong with my room, part of me was going, I don't really care. But at the same time, I was listening, and everything she was saying made sense. And I know I went halfway. I really chickened out on what I wanted, and what I wanted was Montreal Canadiens uh, design, and I should have just done it. In time, this room is going to slowly transform. But after that, then, you know, I'm not doing anything else. That's basically what it comes down to. I don't want to decorate and stuff. I just want to sit in front of a TV and watch my team play.